Yay! Guys, look. I am done. My second avenue, all the sections are done. I finished my big stripe section and now it's time to bind off. And this pattern calls for a picot bind off. So what you have to do is cast on two and then bind off eight. So you're doing a cable cast on, which means you stick the needle in between two stitches and as if you're knitting it and then you put that stitch back on the needle. And you repeat that because you want to do two stitches. And I always, especially with slippery needles, struggle with getting them in between, but you cast on two, right? So now that you have those two casted on, we're going to bind off eight stitches. So we're going to knit that first stitch. We're going to knit that second stitch. And now we're going to bind off one as usual. And we need to do this eight times. So knit the next stitch, bind off. Knit the next stitch, bind off. And we're going to do that eight times, guys. And what that does is create the cutest little decorative edge for, in this case, a wrap. It could be a decorative edge on a blanket. It can be, I've seen Pico bind off on the cuffs of sleeves or um, the cuffs of socks. And I've also seen that there's different ways of doing it. But this one has you cast on two. So you're casting on using the cable cast on. And you see this little nice little decorative edge. So you take that last stitch, you put it back on your left hand needle and you repeat cable cast on two by sticking your needle in between the two stitches bring the stitch up put it back on the needle repeat into between the next two bring the stitch up put it back on the needle and now you're going to bind off eight stitches so knit that first one knit that second one and you'll see there's going to be like a little gap um, in between where you uh, cast it on those two it's like those three little stitches seem like they're separate but that's what's creating that little decorative edge if you will so you're going to repeat this for however many stitches you have to bind off so if you're like in this particular case there there was a, a bit of stitches it's, it's over a hundred stitches bless her heart I love Amy Miller. I was proud to be able to meet her, but geez. Anyway, <laughs> I love this Pico edging. And again, as I have here on the screen for you, you cast on two stitches using the cable cast on. And then you bind off eight and you get the cutest little nubs, if you will. Once you bound off eight, you take that last stitch and put it back on. And then you repeat the process. Cast on two by sticking that needle in between the two, which I always struggle with. Put it on, I think my stitches be too tight sometimes. And then, you see how I'm struggling here? I don't know if that's because my stitches are tight. I, I'm not sure why that happens, but I have to work on that. But you, you see how those seem separate? It's like a little gap there. Once you work, that gap disappears, but it also creates that little decorative edge, which I absolutely love. Absolutely love. And again, you just repeat this process until you have bound off all of your stitches and you have your nice decorative edge. Now, as I've said, I've seen, you know, it depends on the design designer's um what they're looking for. I've seen it where you cast on two and you only bind off five or you cast on two and you bind up more. What you're um, binding off, the number of bind off stitches, what that's going to do is make the space between the picots uh, larger. So it really depends on the pattern that you're doing. But again, really simple, cast on two using the cable cast on and then bind off, in this case, eight.
and you get your nice little decorative edge on all of your hard work. Don't you love it? I love it. And it looks really nice on the edge of your product. So my second avenue is now complete. It is on the blocking boards and ready to dry. Thanks for watching. This is Gigi Made It from GigiMadeIt.com.